Rob Bell is a prolific content creating machine. He's produced several books, uh, over 250 podcasts, and multiple YouTube videos. And yet not all of his content is readily welcomed by the entire Christian community. Well, I'm Steve Pedersen with Daily Christian Affirmations, and I'm here today to share with you three important lessons that I've learned from following Rob Bell. The first lesson, don't judge an author by one work. Rob Bell has published multiple books, How to Be Here, What We Talk About When We Talk About God, Velvet Elvis. His books have some great titles and he kind of prides himself on titles. Uh, what is the Bible is one of his more recent books. Uh, but the book, of course, that really put Rob on the map and got him noticed was a book called Love Wins. And if you're like me, uh, that was the first book that you ever heard of when it came to Rob Bell. That was the book that brought you into his world. That was the book that introduced you to Rob. Uh, and of course, if you know anything about the book and about Rob, you know that that book was incredibly controversial and contained a lot of things that a lot of Christians didn't agree with, that kind of butted heads with his theology. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people you know, heard about that book. Maybe they didn't even read the book. They learned about the book and they were like, oh, no thanks and as a result sort of shut Rob Bell out of their entire you know, awareness, not realizing he's got a lot of other great content. So it's really important never to judge an author or a musician or anybody really for that matter, anybody who creates things, never judge them by one work. I mean, you wouldn't judge uh, you know, an artist like a Van Gogh or a Picasso by one work. You want to know what, what is their, all of their work about. Let me uh, find out about this person. The point is, don't judge an author by one work. Rob has got a lot of great content and if all that you know of Rob is just that he's written Love Wins, then you're really missing out on a lot of great content. Okay, point number two, don't let other people do your thinking for you. This is such a huge point, and it's so important not just when it comes to uh, reading books or watching things online. It comes, you know, when you go to church, uh, don't let your minister do your thinking for you. This is such a huge point. Now, here's the thing. I had uh, come across somebody who was actually in uh, divinity school. He was going to Bible school and I asked him, I was like, hey, uh, have you heard about Rob Bell? What do you think about Rob Bell? And his response felt like kind of a canned response. He's like, oh yeah, he's not saying anything new. And that's really all he had to say about it. And I, I wondered to myself, I was like, have you even read any of Rob Bell's works? Have you listened to any of his podcasts? Have you consumed any of his material? Or have you just let somebody else form your opinion for you? See, that is not helpful. That's letting other people do the heavy lifting for you. And it's important. Uh, it's on each and every one of us to make those kinds of decisions for ourselves. The response that this person gave me kind of sounded like somebody in his Bible school said, okay, if somebody asks you about Rob Bell, this is what you say. Or here's a summary of what Rob Bell has said. You can judge for yourself. Well, I'm saying you need to be the one that, uh, that jumps in. So not just with Rob Bell, but with any author or any preacher or any, you know, anything regarding a, a spiritual belief, don't let somebody else do your thinking for you. You are the one that is responsible for making the decisions about what you believe. Point number three is don't be afraid to consume controversial material and share it with others. There's a gentleman that I know who is on staff with the church and he's confided in me that he 
enjoys and loves to read Rob Bell's books. And yet he doesn't share that with anybody on staff for fear of what they might think about him. And I'm putting myself out here by saying, hey, I'm a fan of Rob Bell. Uh, I've read his stuff. I've consumed a lot of his material, almost all of it. And uh, I can think for myself, and I'm not afraid to share what I've learned. And, uh, but there's some people that are afraid to consume material because they think, oh, it's going to poison my mind. It's going to you know, lead me down the wrong path. For me, reading Rob Bell's books, listening to his podcasts, watching his videos has really strengthened my faith because some of the things, of course, that Rob Bell brings up are new to me. They're the perspectives that I've never thought of before. Are they controversial? Sure. But are they, are they going to destroy me? Of course not. I'm going to investigate these things. If you're going to consume controversial material, be willing to investigate it as well. Don't just read it and say, oh, I agree with that. I believe anything I read. Of course not. But don't be afraid of it. But I've grown tremendously in my faith because I have read it, I've consumed it, I've thought about it, I've investigated it, I've researched it, and what it's done in every case is it's just strengthened my faith. I don't have to believe everything I read, and you don't have to believe everything you read either. Well, as you can see, this has been sort of an introduction to Rob Bell and the things that I've learned. I haven't really gone into specifics from his books. Uh, I hope to do that at a later time. I'd love to find out your thoughts and your comments. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this video. Would you like me to go into more things, more specific things that I've learned? Say, for example, what did I learn from Velvet Elvis? What did I learn from the book, What We Talk About When We Talk About God? There's a lot of great specifics that I've learned. In this video, I've just tried to share uh, some overall things that we can get and just apply to all of our life in general. Uh, but let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. This has been Steve Pedersen with Daily Christian Affirmations, wishing you a day filled with grace and peace.